Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is WWE pay-per-view elimination chamber coverage. So, this pay-per-view, um, to be honest with you, I really wasn't expecting much out of this pay-per-view because a lot of the matches, to be honest with you, I didn't really think were uh, that interesting. Um, but once I watched the pay-per-view, it really was a uh, really good pay-per-view. I gotta say so myself. Um, but these are not in order, guys, but here we go. You had Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin in a new disqualification singles match, and Baron Corbin won with help from Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre. Then we had the pre-show match, which was the Cruiserweight title match between Buddy Murphy and Akira Tozawa in a singles match, in which Buddy Murphy successfully retained the Cruiserweight Championship. At this point, I don't know who else they could really bring in for the Cruiserweights for him to fight because he's pretty much beaten everybody that they thrown at him. Anyways, then we had the Intercontinental Championship match, which was a handicap match, Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush versus Finn Balor. And watch Finn Balor came out victorious, which I'm very happy about because now Finn is the Intercontinental Champion. After the match, however, Bobby Lashley went on to attack Leo Rush, who was pinned in the match. Then we had the SmackDown Tag Team title match as The Miz and Shane McMahon took on The Usos in a tag team match. Previously to this, Shane McMahon and, um, or not Shane McMahon, but Jimmy Uso was arrested and it was on the news and whatever so i honestly thought that WWE wasn't going to let them win but the usos did win which was a big surprise for me but who know who knows where that's going um then we had the women's tag team title match for the inaugural women's tag team champions and a tag team elimination chamber and what saw a lot of great moments and a lot of great um action in the match, but Sasha Banks and Bailey picked up the win, which was okay in a sense, but I really wasn't going for them. I was really hoping someone else won, because I'm not being rude. Sasha and Bailey kind of seem like they always have to be in the front run. Just saying, more so Sasha. Then we had the Raw Women's Championship match between Ronda Rousey and Ruby Riot, and what all due respect to Ruby Riot. But this match really was not much of a match at all, to be honest with you. Ronda pretty much walked over Ruby Riot in this match. And then Charlotte came in the ring and Becky Lynch came in the ring. She attacked Charlotte with a crutch. And then so she also attacked it, Ronda Rousey with a crutch. So that's going to be interesting to see where that leads. Um, more so a triple threat. I still don't think Charlotte Flair should be in the match, though. But... That's just my personal preference. I think Becky earned her spot in the Royal Rumble. And it should be Charlotte not even in the match at all. And just be Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania. But anyways, then we had the WWE title elimination chamber match. Where Daniel Bryan defended against AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Kofi Kingston, Jeff Hardy, and Randy Orton. The match came down to Kofi Kingston and Daniel Bryan. In what was an awesome, awesome effort from Kofi Kingston. Because I'm not being rude. In this match, Kofi truly, truly, truly made a believer out of me. Um, to be honest with you, I never really got behind Kofi Kingston that much. Um, and New Day, everybody knows I really was never that much of a New Day fan. But Kofi tr truly proved himself in this match. And I think he truly deserved it. And at times, I honestly thought... He was going to walk away with the WWE title. However, Dana Bryan did walk away with the championship. Um, so, but nothing can be said that Kofi Kingston did not give his heart and soul in this match because he truly did. Um, and with that said, next Wednesday's video of the week is Walking Dead season nine, episode number ten coverage, which was from originally Sunday, but being that I'm doing this. We'll be doing it on Wednesday, and then I'll be probably doing another one on Sunday next week. Anyways, again, next Wednesday video of the week will be Walking Dead Season 9, Episode number 10 coverage. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow for the Sims World episode. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.